Just me getting ready before the video. Nobody's answering. I was trying to call on some test results, but apparently if they're not calling me, then it'll be okay. Okay, are y'all ready for a haul? I missed you guys. I know you guys missed me. I just know you did. Some of you tell me. Um, so I, I always like to show you guys something cool before I start the video or I don't know what my coffee cup says or what I'm eating. Um, I did order these bracelets for me, my husband, and my oldest son. Not my little one because he'd probably break it. But you can put oil inside these bracelets. And then it smells good. So mm, it smells like lavender. And I really have never been a fan of the lavender smell until you actually smell the real lavender oil you'll be turned on so um this is cool you guys should check it out they're pretty popular i've seen that facebook they know that i was shopping on ebay for them because now they're in my e facebook uh news feeds um they have a black bead on a choker like this pearl, and I think it's absolutely wonderful. I want one. Uh, they make that, maybe earrings and stuff, but I really like the choker like that. So, mine's a little big. I need a smaller one. I paid extra for my husband to have a solid black because I knew he wouldn't really like the colors. He just barely started wearing his. Okay, so. Let's get into the haul since I'm rambling on about a bracelet. And by the way, I got my sweater. It's kind of, it's probably wool. Um, I got it at the bins. I'm super in love with it because I noticed it's kind of one of those, woo -woo, which I don't really wear it like that. So I wear it like this. But I thought it's cool because if I wanted to do it, wear it like this, you know. Um, it's a Pico, P-I-K-O brand. I don't even know what that is or where they sell it. So, yeah, super cool. I like it. I don't have any of these sweaters like this. Um, okay, so if you watched my video, I did like a car little video. I'm not sure how long it was. Um, but I told you guys that I got bored on Sunday. And I decided to go to the Goodwill store, not the bins. There's a different one. Difference. One is weighed by the pound. And then the other is like $6 for a pair of pants. As to you pay $6, you get a whole pound at the bins. So I went to the actual like Goodwill store where it cost more money which I need to go to more often because they may have higher end items. Let's see if I, this is what I got for Christmas. I busted my husband at Dillard's while I was there getting something for um, a Christmas party that night. He was going to buy me something and I was like, uh, no, you don't. Don't you dare. But anyways, I went ahead and picked this out with him. It's a lot smaller than my normal wallets. Kate Spade. This sucker cost, oh, about a hundred and something dollars. 115. Back in the day, I would never. But I love Kate Spade. Okay, I'm pulling out my receipts here, guys. Okay, got it. Got it. Which one will it be? 34th? I know I'm not organized. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have the chat open. Whoops. I'm not ignoring anybody. I promise. It's been so long. Huh? Like a week. Since I've done a YouTube video, I think. There we go. With my one viewer, it says. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, yard sale lover. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't text you. Um, just totally random. There's my bestie. And that's so funny that you're here, yard sale lover, because you're kind of like my YouTube bestie right now. Um, I'm all you and Sheila and Pickers uh, and you other guys. You know who you are. Um, 
But today I was at the bins and there's this little old lady there. And she's not that old, but she cracks me up, like throwing the F bombs. And she is just the most funniest thing ever. And I'm thinking to myself, this is the receipt I needed. I'm thinking to myself, I freaking love this lady. She is like my bins best friend. Like we sit there and just crack it up. And then, of course, I run into a dude there, and he's hilarious, too. He knows who he is. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so Goodwill, Spur 327. This is a store, again, where they hang up everything pretty. Um, and, um, okay, three items. I paid $3.25 each, so I guess it... I hope it came out to nine seventy five. Yeah, three six nine seventy five. Um, shoes. Damn, I got a lot of shoes. No way, the shoes aren't all in here, are they? Oh, they are. <laughs> I shock myself. Okay. Um, first thing, I had this hanging up on my mani. It's called a dress form, but I call it a mannequin, and then I call it also a mani. That's its nickname. If you really want to know the DL on that. Um, because I was gonna list this and I haven't yet. This is one of the items that I purchased. And thanks to all the YouTubers, I had learned that this Wallace brand is a Madewell brand, or I think it was Madewell or something, but if you look on Poshmark Solds, this is also also Gosh, was it H&M or somebody else? Oh, hail 77388. Hold on. RN, it pulls right up, tells me. So when I had bought it, I was hoping it was a Madewell brand, I think is what I was going for. I may be wrong, telling you guys the wrong name, but I think that's what I thought it was. And then, again, when I got home, I realized it... This brand maybe works with both companies. Like, you know, Anthropology, they have those stuff like that. J. Crew. So, this is a J. Crew. See, I was totally off. Not HM. It's totally J. Crew. So, it's this blue cardigan. So, I'm assuming I paid probably like $3 for this or something. It's also cool. Because you can button on this side or that side. It's very, very weird how it works. Yeah, it's got the holes to do it. Does anybody know what that means? Do you double button it? Oh, I didn't realize the buttons are on the inside and the out. So you can double button it in there. Anyways, who cares, right? It's mohair, wool. Oh, wait. Yeah, mohair, acrylic, and whatever that is. Polymade, poly, polymide. Okay. <clears throat> so I was kind of excited to get this, and it's perfect for, you know, uh, winter and spring. Um, double breasted. Bam! She's a genius. Okay. So my total was $32.20. For this bag plus that sweater and these shoes <laughs> jay crew and madewell are owned by the same company and wallace is a division of madewell so tell me jill welcome um when i listed on poshmark am i going to, i guess i'll type j crew and madewell in it somewhere but the you can pick one brand should i list it as j crew or madewell because when I type in that RN, it says it's J. Crew. You got me. I'm clueless when it comes to Madewell for one. And I mean, J. Crew, I see it all the time at my bins, but it's not like I don't get excited about it. I only get excited like about Tory Burch and stuff or, you know, stuff like that. Or hippie embroidered Johnny Was and stuff. So I got these shoes for myself. And I kind of wish I hadn't got them, but they do have a little bit of a wedge right there. They're my size. I paid up for them because you guys know I get shoes for $2 at my bins. 
These were $3. I just thought they looked cute. I'll probably wear them for a little bit and then throw them in a garage sale. Um, but I'm so lazy. Like, I just like to slip on shoes. I'm bad. Okay. Totally just random bought stuff, you guys. I was so bored out of the house. However, when I see people wear a solid white, especially like in, in the business world, because I am a realtor, um, oh, fail. I got lipstick on it. See that? Um, yeah, I'm ruining my own clothes that I just bought. So this seems like it's brand new and it's never been washed. It's pleated right there. And it's got this really long belt. So I thought it would be cute to wear if I had some really nice pants on. I don't know. I thought maybe I'd wear that one day. Um, that was, I mean, there's only one $2 clothing item on here and the rest are three dollars yes uh, dresses are more so I, w I guess she didn't charge me for a dress she must have charged me for clothing because dresses are like five or six bucks there so maybe she passed this on as a shirt I don't know this is the brand Aster the label I and mean, I did look up comps and this sells pretty decent on Poshmark. Um, and it's a uh, like a half sleeve. And I thought this um, trop it's kind of tropical, but it's really just floral. It looked tropical to me. So I went ahead and got it because it could be perfect for a beach or, yeah, whatever. It's a small size, though, size small. So, yep. Do, 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 do. I got this damn song in my head. I see. I'm like, I was like compulsively buying stuff. I bought this skirt skirt because it's so stretchy and soft. I bought it for myself. Just random. The shorts are like tight spandexy, and they just. It seemed like it would be so comfortable, even though it's a medium, and I probably need a large. Um. So yeah, there's that. So let's read cute off the shoulder dress. I thought so too. And it's even cooler that she didn't charge me the full like $5 for the dress. Pretty sure they're either five or $6 for a dress there at my Goodwill store. And no, my Goodwill does not offer any coupons. They do not run sales ever. Um, I'm so like, well, how could I be jealous? People are like, oh, I don't have bins, but I get jealous of you guys that have coupons to go to your Goodwill. I don't have coupons. I'm thankful for the bins, though. I do love it. Um, anywho, I feel like I wasn't done talking. Okay, are y'all ready for the best thing that I found? I was kind of excited I went. Um, I found a really, really good pair of shoes. Too bad they're not boots because they would have doubled in profit. I swear I thought I just heard my cell phone text me. Okay, I'm hearing things. My good, I'm like excellent condition. They're a size seven. They are Hunter. And I really didn't know about this brand until I was reselling. And you look at the rain boots. If you ever look at rain boots, this brand Hunter, just like that, just like, can you all see? And, and I paid, you can see they write with markers. If they're not marked, then you get them cheaper. So I guess you could just take, um, someone could take something. Uh, if you have a professional marker remover, you could get your shoes cheaper, I guess. See me? I'm bad. Don't listen to me. Um, $6 is what I paid. I was like, yes. Thank you. Um, they're also that tan nude color. Super freaking cool. Look at the toes. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing. I mean, look at the inside. It's like super clean. This right here paid for more than the bag that I just bought. The whole bag. The whole, I'm going to profit back my $32 
just on that, those shoes. So since I found that, I guess I felt a little more comfortable to buy another good brand. Um, but they also have nude on them. And they, what do you call it? I always want to say the word on this video. Just stop and take and think for a minute, Heather. Um, it always, <laughs> I always want to say, it always carry, carries me or carries it arises my curiosity or something arouses my curiosity. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Um, when I don't know what the brand is, it's foreign. So I got real excited. I was like, yep, we're putting this in my cart. And when I find everything that I have found, I'm going to look up this brand. And lo and behold, I'm pretty sure they sold for a lot of money, I think. Pretty sure. Louis Etier. Is that an anthropology brand, you guys? No clue. But it sounds like it. I don't know. So I got those. But look, they're not marked. So the shoes are $3 each. Again, I paid $6 for the Hunter. Oh, hello. Don't look at my broken fan up there. I don't know how that broke. Um, and again, three, $3 for these. So, I got, I got these for my mom. She has a plantar fasciitis. It's a foot, I don't know if you call it a disease, but it's a condition where your feet hurt when you walk. Uh, we won't go into details about that. I don't really know too much about it. Um, but these are like Asian or Japanese shoes. So she likes to wear a lot of slippers because um, they're comfortable. And she gardens a lot. She's outside. So these have a really strong rubber bottom. They are a size 8. Me and my mom pretty much wear the same size. Um, so, yeah. And they look, they're like cute little Mary Janes. So I got them for her. I don't know um, if she's going to like them. But if you would, since we're on the topic of mom, and kind of use the word higher, uh, she hasn't got paid anything yet because I told her I'd kind of pay her when we sell some stuff, but kind of feeling bad. Um, my mom did come over last week, Thursday and Friday. She worked all day till uh, 4.30 and 5 each day. And she we created a new Poshmark account for her. So the username, I'll just read it to you and I'll type it here. It is Skylark in Texas. It's S-K Sky. So S-K-Y-L-A-R-K, the letter N-T-E-X-A-S. Skylark in Texas. That's like my mom's blog name. Like she's all over the internet. You, she just, yeah, that's her username. So that's her Poshmark account. So if you don't mind, please go follow her. <clears throat> and we have some stuff listed. So everything that's listed is all my inventory. Um, we have not sold anything, you guys. It's been last Thursday and Friday, she listed oh, over, I don't know, 40 or 60 things or probably not that many, maybe 30, 40. I can't remember. It's written down. However, um, I even reduced a couple things. Vince Camuto, these, is this the ones, the Luis? I've never, I didn't know Vince Camuto made non Vince branded um, shoes. Is that what you're saying? The Luis at CIE? I don't, oh wait, here we go. Ooh, we can totally find out who, maybe who is the maker. I don't know, it's uh, the style name is Lo, like L-O dash Abruzzo, Abruzzo. A-B-R-U-Z-Z-O. These are a 7B. Yes, she says. Okay. <clears throat> what are you doing? 
doing, you say? I'm going to write it down and I'll put it in the shoe. Not that I need to. I was going to look up a stock photo anyways. Vince Camuto. Thanks, Jaina. And they make that brand too. Very good to know. <clears throat> okay, last pair. I almost threw these back. That's my famous word, okay? I should start a funny commercial about that. I almost threw this back. I almost threw that back. I almost threw this back and this back and this back and that. But I didn't. Um, so these shoes I paid $3 for as well. They kind of look ugly to me. And they're super big oversized. It's got a string. It's not a hair. It's like a thick string. Let's pull that off. These are Ro Robert Zur, Z-U-R. So Robert Zur. Never heard of it, never seen it. Pretty sure I looked it up on Poshmark and they were going for decent money. I mean, it's Sperry's. They're ugly, but poor Heather went ahead and got them. Because I looked up the comps and <laughs> anytime that's what besties do. That's so sweet. <clears throat> That's so sweet. Get my organic hand sanitizer. Yeah, I said organic. This may not be organic, but it's toxic free. <clears throat> okay. We got a lot of stuff to show you guys. Okay. I'm glad I'm done with that small haul. Okay, first things first, if you're scared of clowns, turn away. Um, this is a vintage clown baby mobile. I could not resist getting this. Looks like somebody had it for sale for five bucks, maybe an estate sale, I don't know. Oh look, what did we find? A little, the heck is this, a girl toy? I don't know what that is, it was stuck. Um, so I looked up the comps on eBay for this, you guys, and there wasn't anything, nothing. The brand of this mobile has been listed, the um, Pansy Ellen, but clowns are just so freaky. Yeah, Bobby, Shane. Um, I mean, there are people that are scared to death of clowns. So if there are people that are scared to death of clowns, there are people that absolutely love clowns. <laughs> so I had to get it, you guys, because who makes a mobile with creepy clowns, right? I mean, it's like you cat lovers out there. They buy cat shirts and cat cups and yeah. Let's check it out. My son's even over here because I'm all being extreme talking about it. I didn't open it, didn't check it for parts. It looked like it was all there. And as I'm opening it, opening it, I am a mom of two. I can tell that all the parts are there. It's so vintage, you guys. Like, okay. Uh, looks pretty clean. Look at that, and it's so colorful. I'm like screaming at the computer, like, oh my god, look at this crack. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they're flying. Is this one broke or detached? I don't know. He's kind of just hanging there in the middle, and it's not being level. So we have the uh, to go onto the crib, you stick that on. Yeah, it's even got the wheel to tighten it. The wheel is what keeps it tight to the crib. Then we have our, ooh, y'all ready for some music? Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, hold on. And then we have our hook. Oh, well, how does it hook? I don't see, it must be missing something here, you guys. I don't know. We'll move along. But um, that's easy to fix. I'm trying to see. It, it has the picture cut off. That will sell well. Yeah, let's see how long it takes for me to get it listed. So 
there's that. Um, music box assembled in China, uh, Ch in China of Japanese components. Oh, isn't it so pretty? Okay, I must put it up now because I might be scaring away viewers. Um, we'll even go set it in the next room, okay? And let the uh, chime. It's crazy how these things work with no batteries. They need to start making toys again like that, except for the ones that break, right? So, I, you, y'all know me. I judge myself, and I'm like, yep, I'm so cheap. I throw away the box, but nope. Gotta keep the original box. Shame on you if you throw away the original box and it's vintage. Do not do that. <clears throat> okay. Moving along. So this box was 75 cents a pound. I'm just really not going to rush this video, you guys. I usually rush and I'm like, go fast. I'm kind of just going to chill today. So I wanted to weigh it for you guys. Two pounds, 3.6 ounces. Oh, it's even got the wrapping paper still on it. Oh, it's so special. Like somebody wrapped it as a gift. Of course they didn't use it. Not for very long, did they? Um, the box does have a, a tear there. So, yeah. Let me go put this, I don't know, I don't have to take it too far. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it's upside down. Oh, it probably was. Ah, that's good. Very good. No lipstick on my teeth. Okay. So, Rylan came with me, my child, he came with me, not today, but what day was it? Was it? I don't remember our receipt here. 114, what's today? 116. So, he, yeah, he went with me Saturday. Yeah, we got bored. I was like, well, let's get out of here. So, he was having a blast with this really broke, cheap gun, so we paid 75 cents a pound for this. <clears throat> that's been in my car the whole time and it's been falling over each time I turn it's like sliding in the back of my car let's get into some hard goods so I can stress myself out with a bunch of shit everywhere talking toys whatever I got a cool no it's not missing oh so you don't think it's missing anything okay cool Gina's saying that that um, musical mobile the thing I had was probably upside down. Not sure. So this is a cool, quick story. Um, I was throwing something back or walking by. I don't know what I was doing. And I saw this in somebody's cart, and it reminded me of like a Pier 1 import kind of uh, tray. And they had it in their cart, and I was going to put – I was throwing something back, and I was going to turn around and tell them, oh, that's a cute – cool little piece there and lo and behold she chunked it back so it's made in india see the little yeah cheap sticker there it's just like a yarn thing so it goes on like a coffee table or something i don't know but it's freaking cool and i bet somebody paid a lot of money for this it's kind of heavy but it's it's really good uh material it's wrapped well Definitely not from the yard sale. I think it's like Pier 1 or something. I don't know. So that was cool. And then I thought maybe this was a Star Wars piece, but I'm not quite sure. I think it might be, you guys. I don't know if anybody is a Star Wars freak. Let me know. Um... It says 2008 Hasbro, but it doesn't say anything else. Totally looks like some of my, um, I'm sorry guys for the glare. I still have all those Star Wars toys right there on top of my printer. I have not listed them or anything. Um, so this is a super duper one. And actually, 
is really cool. It, you can hold it. We're jamming now. Um, pretty sure Rylan didn't know it did that, but we did know that these buttons here work. What? Can you take it in the other one? Or not really. Put it on my kitchen table. I don't want your brother to break it if it is a Star Wars. In the other room, tuck place. Party, please, sir. Thank you. Junk, junk. I was going to throw these back. Oh, my gosh. I say that a million times. Isn't this a Target brand? I was like, oh, well, that's not a cheap toy. It is wooden. Oh, it's got a bobber. Um, it's magnetic. Little fishing poles. I mean, I know I'll still sell these in the garage sale this summer. But Rylan was kind of playing with it. So, I got two of them. They're pretty cool. Uh, listing party time to list your items this week. Yes, ma'am. I do have a training tomorrow from 1 to 3. So, I don't know. I'll probably be at the office tomorrow. Yes, but we will. And then Thursday and Friday, my mom will be here listing stuff. So, yes. Oh, my gosh. I don't even need this. What is that? Hold on, guys, because I listed that house today. So, I might have a call to show it. Hold on. Mute. Okay, that was not about the house. Thank goodness. Most people, when you list a house, they'll call another realtor to go show it. So most realtors would text me. Um, that was calling to say that my thyroid and vitamin D is perfect. I'm like trying to do some perfect because uh, I used to be a low on vitamin D. So I'm super happy to see that I'm not low on vitamin D when I'm not even drinking milk anymore. We're like dairy free. So that's weird. Cool though, right? I don't have to take pills for vitamin D. Super good news. Um, okay. So there's that. Again, this is some dye that's brand new in the packet. I'm just gonna throw that in the garage sale, you guys. It's probably gonna get redonated too. I don't really dye anything, and if I did, I'd probably make a huge mess and end up dyeing my own clothes that I don't want to dye. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a little difficult getting started in the morning with my mom. She got a little frustrated. She has a new camera, and the stupid lens doesn't even work. It won't zoom in. Uh, very disappointing. I think it's a Nikon brand. Oh my gosh, you guys. She got like a four four $450 camera. And when you hold the lens, it feels like China cheap plastic. And if you pick up my old camera that I bought five or six years ago that I spent, I don't know if I, maybe I spent more money than her or what, but my lens is not that cheap. Um, so I wanted to throw this back, but it is the coolest, like, it needs to be clean probably for Rylan. I did take away all his, oh, cool, it's still got the uh, missiles there. I took out all his bath toys, uh, we won't get into that, but um, this is like a floating bath toy, and it looks super cool. It's got these little, um, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. The blowers back there. I know there's a word for it. Autocorrect. ROT die sells well, or RIT die. She's saying that this sells well. Yeah, this is just a one little single pack. And I know they sell these at Walmart, so they're worth over a dollar. So I was like, I just can't resist getting this new, perfectly packaged die. So. Yeah, if I ever need to dye something. Yeah. 
I tried to dye something black once and it was this brand. Didn't work at all. So that's why I'm like not really happy about this because I don't really follow the directions really well sometimes <laughs> or I'm impatient or something. I don't know. Okay. Here's a vintage toy and it is Avon and I just loved it because we played with these as a kid. It has that bell. Uh, this is 79, the first year's Avon. I didn't even look up the comps for these. It's just too freaking cool. I'm going to resell this in a garage sale if it doesn't sell for good online. And I know this is going to sell, no doubt about it. So, <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Like, I can't believe some of the things that I come home with sometimes. I'm like, why, Heather? Why? Um, so this is a Calvin Klein bag. It's brand new. It's never been used. So I just threw a bunch of stuff in it and weighed it all at 75 cents a pound. I usually have pretty good uh, luck selling even perfume bags. I'm not sure what this tote is, if it's a perfume bag or what. But it's like a beach bag, more like it or tote to me. So I got it because it's brand new. Um... And Calvin Klein, you can't go wrong with that. Um, perfume bags, all of it. I found a Burberry one, sold it on Poshmark, you guys. Easy flip. A Burberry perfume bag. Most people at my bins don't grab that stuff, but I do. Um, I love these. I'm trying to fill one of these up with pre-filled contracts. That way, if I just have someone that's like, Oh, you're a realtor? Yes, I do want to sell my house. Well, here's your paperwork. Um, I don't have any in my car. I just want to have it ready to go or ready to go to an appointment, and I don't have to stress about printing contracts. I have a million of these, but I just like the color of this one. I have pink. I have purple. And do I sit down and fill it up like I want to? No, I don't. Um, so this is so cool. I'm not even going to use the pink one or the purple. I'd rather use this one. So got that. <clears throat> I don't know why I got these. I wish they were bigger, but it's a whole brand new packaged full of favor boxes. So if I don't use these, I again will sell them in my garage sale. There are 12 white boxes brand new. Picked that up. Um, paint, there's, they were used. I actually had like two green ones and I was squirting one green into the other to fill one bottle so I didn't have to buy two bottles. True story. Uh, black, green, pink. This one's like barely this much in there. But hey, it's got a $6.99 price tag. I sure will pay a quarter for this. I don't use a nail polish that takes forever to dry anymore. I use the light. I have my own light. It's pretty cheap. You guys should get one. I'm sure it's toxic as hell, just as these are. Um, I actually have psoriasis, so UV light is good for my skin. Super cool, right? Tell me about it. Um, so, yeah, I bought these full-blown nail polishes, OPI, Sally Hansen, for the garage sale, because I'm a hoarder in my garage, apparently. Yeah. Can summer get here any quicker or slower, was I supposed to say? So, Lacoste, Lacoste, however you say that, I wore this brand when I was a kid. This brand was, like, cheap when I was a kid. And now it's like super popular for um, preps. Instead of saying rich kids, I'm going to start saying preps. Somebody said I should not call people certain things. However, I like to just speak my mind. But yes, I need to watch what I say and not be rude, right? Um, so yeah, got that. <laughs> Even though that's not worth anything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Am I being annoying or what? <laughs> um, okay. This is for Ryland. These are some bendable glasses, and they're not scratched really at all. 
They don't wear glasses, but I just thought these were cool. They're kid glasses. Um, these are mini Legos, you guys. They have Lego. It was in a bag. There's a little reindeer. Um, we'll put that together. I think there's some more somewhere. Uh, this is came in that bag. I just put it all right here aside. Still filling up the bag. This is a perfect condition, like no stains. It's a 31 bag. It's embroidered, so that's already expensive, right? It's got Blake's name and a football. That's cool, right? Uh, 31. Let me show you the tag. This is like Avon, in case anybody doesn't know. It's like the home-based business for women or men, whichever you want to call it. Um, they're not very, not too cheap, but they sell like diaper bags, craft bags. It's a super popular, well-known brand. Um, so I totally picked this up. We'll see how it sells on eBay. Probably not Poshmark. It'd be more of an eBay thing. And if not, I'll just probably, again, throw it in my garage sale. Because it weighs nothing, it's 75 cents a pound. So to flip this for two or three bucks, it's I'm still winning, right? Um, okay, so inside it was a Sleeping Beauty Lego. So cool. We don't have these in my house because we're just have boys. Sleeping Beauty was actually my first movie ever as an infant. Uh, not sure who this girl is, but she was too cute. I had to get it. Not sure who it is at all. She has the number one on her. Um, okay, I don't know why I got this, but I thought maybe it went to a game or something. It's Disney Pixar, and it's Nemo, so that's just probably going to be redonated. Uh, this is a Shopkins toy TV, I believe, so I definitely got that. Again, since, what did I just throw? Like, this was weird, but, oh, is this a LPS? It can't be. Oh, is her tail come off? No. Okay, sorry. I don't know what the heck that is. Then we got, oh, look at this one. <laughs> that was Snow White. Yeah, I said Sleeping Beauty, sorry. Well, which movie? See, I have to, I'm dyslexic. Um, Snow White and the, no, Seven Dwarfs. Yes, yeah, Snow White was my first movie. Yeah, not Sleeping Beauty. Isn't that the same character? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, uh, this is a bobblehead. This is like totally freaky. Moose, and I've never heard of it. It's so cool. Like, I love selling toys, especially if they're worth money. Um, no clue what this is. The hat doesn't come off, just FYI. So that's like a little baby. Snow White, Sleep, yeah, those are two different movies. My movie as an infant was, I'm like totally keep flipping it back and forth, but I'm pretty sure it was Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, mine wasn't Snow White. Okay, so this is Snow White and not Sleeping Beauty. It's because I don't have girls. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have girl children. Um, let me throw this in here. Okay. <clears throat> We're not even to the close yet, you guys. We are still working on hard goods. Yeah, there's some kind of paint or something. I was going to see if I could get that off. It looks like fingernail polish, to be honest. But this is that brand, The Sack. And I just liked the colors, even though it had a stain on it. And I was blown away that once recently I listed, um, this has got stuff in it, by the way. I listed this brand of a purse not too long ago, and I was really shocked and blown away at how fast and how much money it sold for. So, yeah, that, I mean, it really, um, is it figuring out polish? It's okay, I love Disney. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Gina is a total uh, Disney lover. I was watching her videos. So this red paint, I probably shouldn't have got. It's like literally almost empty, but it is still good in there. So I just went ahead and got it. Um, that's pink, so 
I love painting, even though I don't really do it as much anymore. Look at that, $15.99 for a bottle of paint. So to be honest, this is probably like, it feels like there's maybe that much in there. And I got these, you guys, like, are you serious, Heather? But yeah, $15 for paint, that's expensive. And look, it says it's expert. My mom paints too. I'm all too. Um, yeah, totally weird brush, but it's that natural life. Um, and that's a popular, I think it's an organic brand. So I got that. Not for me, it's to resell. And the last paint, I believe, is yellow. Tem tempera paint made in the USA. Poster color. So I was like, yeah, the kids do crafts all the time. We'll get to that too. Tucker currently, my oldest, he's 11, started junior high this year. He currently, I bought him mouse traps today. He has to make a mouse trap car. I never had to do that in school, thank gosh. We did work in a group and make made one out of cardboard, like where we actually sat in it, but I never did do the mouse traps so i won't be able to help him on this project that's all great you can sell it in a big lot if you don't want to keep it yeah the paint that's all great paint she says all right i just want to do more hard goods i just want to do more hard goods okay oh wait y'all ready for this this is today's and I have something in here that's glass, and we need to get it out. Um, today I spent ah yes, I wasn't there very long. Luckily, I spent wow only fifteen dollars. It says that's not a lot, but on one fourteen when I was with Rylan, we spent like I said that thirty two bucks. We got all those. Or 113. Sorry, guys. Who cares about the dates, right? Where? Oh, yes. Yes. I'm all excited. Okay. So, have you guys heard me say that, man, I just, I get frustrated. I just want to sit on eBay and look at the solds and research what sells the best. And I have done research. This shows that my research has paid off a little bit. Um, I have searched the solds on vintage stuff. Um, it's been quite a few months, but my work paid off because I found this Christmas tree. This Christmas tree just sold recently with no lights for like $75, I think it was. And it didn't have the stand that has the light either, I don't think. So, I'm pretty sure this is the exact tree that I've seen all over eBay as a vintage Christmas tree, and it sells. So, when I saw it, I was like, oh, awesome, cool, got it. <clears throat> <laughs> wonderful. Gina says, you get wonderful hard goods. Mine are not that good. Yeah, well, I kicked myself because I don't like buying glass. Oh, look, I am dropping light bulbs. And I'm hoping, I'm sure that somebody online is maybe selling these light bulbs. If not, I bet they are not because these are like they sell. I don't understand. I guess people have good memories with this. So it does have an engraving. Whoops. D J R. Somebody tried to sell it for $3 either at an antique store, estate sale, something. Okay, $3. I'm sorry, my lighting is terrible. I was trying to get that glare out, but um, you can see right there D J R and then 1971. So basically, somehow there's a stand and a light, I believe. I'm just guessing, right? That the light shines in the middle, and due to the clear, different color Christmas lights, it gives off a multicolor effect, which is totally awesome, right? So yeah, 
Super happy that I found this tree. I would have never got this tree had I not done my own research on eBay by going and clicking the button Souls. Did y'all know that was a feature for you non resellers? Yes, it is. So I'm so excited. And you know what is even better, you guys? It's not even broke. It's not even broke. I mean, like, yeah, it's missing light bulbs, but most of the glass pieces have a chip or a break somewhere. So that is a score. And somewhere amongst here, we lost a light bulb, but I'm not going to make you guys wait till I find it. I will find it later. We gotta find it. <laughs> Y'all wanna see something funny? This was on a table that somebody else had. Maybe, I don't think it's a replica. Look, there's only one. Someone recently said, hey, you can sell just one shoe. It's a Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton toddler shoe. So cute. Maybe the other reseller will list it as well, and then they'll buy mine or I can buy theirs. I don't know. It's got a metal Louis Vuitton. I'm wondering how this comes off. Ooh, you can't even. There's no, like, there's a gold thing. Just, even if you find one shoe, you guys, somebody may have lost or pulled off the gold emblem here. And they will buy my shoe to repair the other shoe so they can triple their money on the two shoes that have one emblem lost. So think outside of the box. That's what I was telling a guy today about a purse that he said he found, but he said it was damaged. And I was like, but you still need to get it because the hardware or pieces, you know, maybe they want to rip off the sole and they want the exact sole and they'll glue it onto the other you you don't know it's you know people can do amazing things random i love the beach i was born in maryland um that's next to the ocean and all that so this is wooden i don't know somebody tried to sell it for two dollars i got it real cheap a lighthouse it's just something that i don't need <laughs> True story. Okay, I'm so disappointed that this is a scorpion because a Scorpio, because Scorpio is supposed to be a Leo's enemy. So boo, Scorpio. But that is badass. Like some Scorpio it means their birthday was, you know, the horoscope guys. Uh, birthday is October 24th to November 22nd. Their sign is the Scorpio. This thing is heavy. It's made in Columbia. Wilton, Columbia. It's got a stamping of BWP. You guys, I wish I could buy more Leo stuff that's cool. So if you ever see horoscope stuff, please pick it up. Even if you're going to sell it at a garage sale, I have a Leo cup. Literally, a Leo cup that I got at a dollar store for $1.00. And I've had that cup for over, well, I got it around when I got with my husband. So like 12 to 14 years around there. Um, and I'm still using that cup. His broke. He's an Aries. The handle broke on his. But I love it. I love my Leo cup. It even says what a Leo is about um, and stuff. So this is super cool. Love it. <clears throat> I'm happy about this. People hate Taylor Swift. I mean, I know people that have like, they're just like, I can't stand her. Anyways, I was super excited to find this. <laughs> Such a dork, I know. Look, it's a Taylor Swift fearless tour from 2009, 2010. Um, her name is like gold and popping out here. It's not signed. It's probably not worth anything. Oh, look at some love Taylor on the back. Um, it's a book of different stuff about the band, and the pages are all great. 
Um, I don't know. Taurus here says yard sale lover. Um, it's got all kinds of cool stuff. So <laughs> she wrote a letter to her dear, beautiful fans. So yeah, I, I couldn't get resist this. Like Taylor Swift is like so cool right now to me, even though I'm 34 years old. <laughs> I'm like, Taylor Swift is so cool. Okay. I was ready to go home, you guys. Really, really ready to go. Okay, so these, the beating has come off right there on these, but they're Jeffrey Campbell's. So it's like two bucks, and all the beads elsewhere are perfect. So it's just where... It goes straight down, and I'm thinking maybe if you glue it or something, you won't be able to tell. I don't know. Um, yeah, I will fix these, and I will sell these for sure. A concert program? No, it's not. Is it? But I didn't. Okay, you ready? We're going to find out. So, I mean, it's just like our song. Oh, but it doesn't have the the song or nothing. Oh, like it tell me why, like what songs? I got no one to believe in. You tell me that you want me. <laughs> Teardrops on my guitar. Yeah, don't go way back. I'm not into her old stuff. I'm into her new stuff. Um Like I'm fascinated with um What's her name? Paris Hilton, too. <laughs> I like Paris Hilton, too. This is like they have all the money in the world. Like, they don't need anything but probably friends or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's the way I loved you. You're not sorry. Yeah, okay. Whatever. 100% cotton. That's just trash whatever that is um so i thought maybe oh i need to get these flat these are super cool you guys they're like a gold metallic unfortunately i bent them in my bag um i thought maybe i would have a house one day that just needed something pretty in it and if it, there was a double table i could just use you know a spot that has maybe i could just use one of these as a centerpiece i don't know but yeah, someone that likes Taylor Swift a lot would buy that. Yeah, I, I'll have to look at the comps. I haven't looked at any of this stuff, really. Um, So these were super pretty. What sucks is the dust will get trapped in the middle of it. I don't know. Easy to clean, though. It's totally like rubber. This also reminds me of, like, Pier 1 or something. Okay. Oh, what is this? It's glass. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I was going to give this to my madre, my mama. Um, someone had maybe a $3 price on it right there. So happy they taped it. I hope to learn from that and do that. You guys should always tape your lids down if you donate stuff or something. They get broke or they get lost. Um, my mom likes to drink hot tea. This is a vintage teapot. Again, usually the glass is always chipped somewhere. And this one is not. Um, it's cool because it's even got like a tea or coffee stain right there. I just think that that's so cool. Like they actually used this as a tea or coffee pot. Um, but it's German. It's Hutchin, Hutchin Ruther Arsberg Bavaria. It's got a crown. It says it's Germany. And you know, it's not cracked, but it does have like a crack in the probably I don't know how to describe that really you probably won't see it nope you won't it's so thin but it's yeah probably would hurt the value if it were a valuable piece um I'll just show you all the bottom there we go okay Luckily, my mom will probably be here Thursday, so I'll give that to her if she wants it. I just liked it because it's a bigger pitcher. Most people have little teapots, so. Okay. 
Moving along. Okay. I was so ready to go and leave, and I just saw a random black purse. This actually doesn't excite me really at all. Um, 75 cents a pound. This is actually quite heavy. I, get, I don't think anybody could guess what this bag is at all. The brand. Dun, 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 dun. I was trying to find my scissors amongst this crap. Here we go. Right there. <clears throat> okay. Um, so the straps are good. Are y'all just waiting for the name? I'm sure you are. It has a string or two here. But I'm pretty sure this is still <laughs> this is still authentic. But of course it would have strays because it's made by Michael Coors. Sorry. I won't talk trash. I don't like Michael Kors. I don't care about Michael Kors. There's a lot of people that have Michael Kors. And maybe this is a replica because the, um, like this string here for the zipper has come apart and there's like this furry insulation that went in between. So, I mean, most genuine authentic purses wouldn't have this stragglers, but I don't know. Maybe Michael Kors is just cheaply made. I honestly do think this is an authentic purse, you guys. It's genuine, real leather. The inside of the interior is really thick quality material. Um, however, it's got a nasty stain there. So I went ahead and was like, oh, I never pick up Michael Kors purses that often. So... The stain is like almost goes all across right there. Not sure if it comes out. I took a risk since it's Michael Kors. I'm like so done with getting the coach vintage purses that are like this. They just don't sell for much anymore. Um, but it's a Michael, Michael Kors. There. On the hardware. Um, I'm pretty sure this is authentic, you guys. Oh, I'm about 85% sure. Where did I get the 85? I don't know. I just made that up. Okay. What's next? Close. This would be like a whole nother hour video, you guys. Um, Charger. I know I had it. Right somewhere. Gonna plug in my laptop here in just a second. Okay. Did I put it in here? Maybe not. Okay. Hold on. One second, guys. I swear I have brought it in now. Oh, my poor doggies. I need to let them back inside. They went on a potty break. <clears throat> We're not red yet, but it's just getting kind of low. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And that's done. Okay. Hard goods. Still going strong, hard goods. Could not resist this cute little basket. What the hell I would use this for? No clue. It's a wire basket that's like so popular in all the stores lately. Uh, wire baskets got oh what's this kit burlap this is a burlap sack inside um it says home it's like freaking brand new i don't know like whatever i'll take it oh i got the coolest thing you guys um this is the rest of that lego girl that i showed y'all 
like I got the princess, so we got a little princess house. Rylan actually built this, you guys. It was I was so impressed. I was like, oh, you built a little house. <laughs> He's even being so good that day. He's starting to warm up with the bins now. He knows he gets good poos, right? He even had the house on or the window. He put the window on it. I guess it broke off. So those are in here. Oh, it's 5.30. Everyone's about to get home, you guys. They're going to start making a bunch of ruckus, and I won't get to finish the video. Cute basket, right? Um, so this was cool. It's brand new. Nobody ever used it. It's vintage, I think. But it's a uh, Berg's bio salad. You grow your own fresh salad and vegetables all year round, and it's just the plastic container. Got that. So these baskets were cool, right? They're both, two of them, sitting right there. And then the only thing wrong with it is the canvas bags are um, stained up a little bit in there. So you just need to wash it or put new, new bags or whatever inside of it. <laughs> For some reason, I couldn't resist getting this bag of, like, shredded glitter. It's like a million pieces of glitter in here, you guys. But it's like the aluminum glitter. Oh, my gosh. I just was like, oh, I got to have that. It's purple. Okay, this is the coolest thing I found. I'm super excited. It kind of makes me look, I can't use the word preppy for this. So I guess I'm just going to say how I think, right? Just reminds me of like a rich person's Christmas tree. Um... So at first I thought this was like a tablecloth cover. Hold on. Okay. But I ended up realizing that this is a very, very expensive Christmas tree cover. Oh, look the, um, cause you know, you have the hole and you put this here. Well, the hook or the circle. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm lying. It looked like it was ripped, but I found the hole. I just put it in the hole. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, fancy, fancy, heavy, heavy ass Christmas tree skirt. Um, it has beads hanging everywhere. So I was like, ooh, I like it. I'm totally gonna use this for my Christmas tree. Guys, this probably cost some woman like three, not three. I meant to say like a hundred dollars. Not freaking kidding, guys. So I was going to look up the comps and see how much it sells for. I'm all about selling something if it's going to bring a good profit. Because I honestly don't need this hideous color. Um. So yeah, got a nude Christmas tree cover. Super cool. Throw that right there. Yay, that makes that bag done. But done. Okay, let's get into this small bag here. I think this is all my shoes, my sapatos, and my chanclas. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're about to find something cool in here that I just remembered. Is it in here? Yes. Okay, story time. This can be a quick one. So I'm over to the shoes. They throw the shoes in a in a wooden, like, long table, right? And I'm talking like shoes are just piled. If you want to know what it looks like, go back to my older videos. I've done uh, pictures of what my bins look like. I mean, the shoes are just piled. You have to, like, pull shoes out to dig and find what you're looking for. So I walk over to the shoes, and I'm, like, discouraging myself. I'm like, yeah. There's not going to be anything in here. People have probably already picked through it. It's not going to be anything. It's not going to be anything, Heather. Nothing at all, right? On the freaking top of the shoes, you guys. On the top, I found the best brand you could ever find. The best brand you could ever find. Not even flawed. I'm like, holy crap. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Like, are you kidding me? Like, really? 
these are Tory Burch shoes. Like, no, I don't want this brand for myself because, like, no, I'd never blow the money for this stuff. But, yeah, I'd wear it if it's thrifted. So, I hope my husband never goes out and buys a $300 or $200 pair of these ugly flip-flops or nothing. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I am, like, so shocked, you guys. These are brand new. I, these are brand new. Look at the tags. Oh, it itched my face. Um, so, yeah. They've got the little strap that they put on them to luckily not lose them. But I'm like... Somebody just looked at these and threw them on the top. And here comes Heather. Woo woo. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like this pays for the whole trip of the $30 probably. Or pretty close to it. Now that was $43. On this day, I spent $43. I haven't really looked at what the sandals sell for. But oh my gosh. I was like so, like, oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes. Like, yes. Okay, moving along. <laughs> okay. Next are these really cool leather Converse high tops. No, they're not high tops. Are they? Kind of, yeah. The only thing wrong with these is this strap is broke. I should probably rip it off, but I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to see if my kid will fit these, but I think they're too big for him. But they're really cool because they're like actual leather. So, <clears throat> what size are they? A uh, six. I think my kid does wear a five or a six. I don't know. And I don't know if he'll like these, but they're totally cool. Two dollars. Do you like that tree skirt? I was like going on and on about Tory Burch. Like I just dropped off like two or three subscribers or like viewers. I'm all subscribers. Viewers just now like ranting and raving about Tory Burch. Like no freaking kidding. Like who does that? And you guys may hear me talk about this, but right next, like it's in the same building of the bins. I'm on here. It's a square. Um, same building. Right behind it, like you go around to the other side of the store, there was always like a Goodwill office. They totally flipped it into a high-end like boutique. But unfortunately, it's in the ghetto. My bins are in the ghetto. So nobody high-end is going to go over there and buy the stuff. I'm thinking, wow, I can't wait till they donate this stuff to the bins because it's coming my way. I hope. They had uh, Queen Elizabeth for $300 in her mint condition box. Doesn't even sell that much on eBay. But they had Queen Elizabeth's outfits all lined out with the boxes. Different clothes and everything. It was insane. I was like, wow. Okay, moving along. Boots. I picked up these boots. They do have um, a scratch here, but I think that that's going to come off. That's uh, not the leather. It's like a white scratch. So usually I can get these uh, marks off. It's not where the leather was taken off. But these are wherever. I don't even know why the hell I got these. I think they were my size. And I thought, hey, well, I don't have any tall, tall boots. It's kind of, I don't know, basic. I don't know. I just thought I'd get those. I didn't really wear those. But. Um, toms, they're just glitter toms. They're pretty decent. Um, these are kind of out of style already. Um, these glitter ones, they've been around for a while. But they're in really good condition, and I used to want these. <laughs> I used to like these a lot. So I went ahead and got them. They're in really good condition. Where is my scissors? Okay, we won't cut it now. Okay, next, hopefully, probably not. My husband probably won't like these. He wears them like an 11 or a 12. These are a 12, but they're really soft. I think he might like them. Redley flip-flops. My husband is picky as all get out. He only wears one kind of shoe. And we like to purchase, 
I don't know. He like really needs some new sandals right now. So anyways, I got those and I don't care if he doesn't like them. He'll just, uh, all Tom sell, but they don't sell for very much money on Poshmark for me lately. <laughs> all right. This haul is from today. Yeah. So I have this bag and one more bag. I may not do the other bag. It just depends on how loud Ryland gets when they walk in that door over there. We'll use the other bag to prop up this bag, right? Okay. Someone had put this on the table. They didn't want it. It's Bella Me, just a boutique brand, I believe. And I grabbed it because it's got the lace bottom and the lace pocket. Somebody didn't want it. I got it. Banana Republic, I was like, ooh, look at these pink pants. They're like kind of cropped at the bottom though. So really, really nice, you guys. And I don't sell Banana Republic very much, but it's a very, very preppy high-end brand. Is this linen or cotton? Uh, Hampton fit, cotton and spandex. Huh. It kind of felt linen. Um, so I got that. And then right next to it, I'm not sure if somebody cleared out their closet or what. This was next to it. And I was like, oh, what a great combination for me to take in the picture on uh, Poshmark. So this is a loft size medium cardigan. Love the stripes. Absolutely love it. I'm ready to go, and then I see this cool dress, Jule, Jole, so it scared me, like, what if that's an anthro piece, and I don't research it, and I don't want to research it, I'm just going to go ahead and get it, it's embellished with all these beads, uh, I guess that's embroidered, I swear this feels silk, and that's just a fuzzball right there anyways, a leaf or something, oh, stop with the lipstick, Heather. It didn't do it this time. I swear this is silk. Yep, 100% silk, made in India. I can't wait to look up who this is. Jolie, Jolie, Jol, Jolly, I don't know. I don't see really any embellishments missing. Pretty good. Looks like it's got seaweed designs. Oh, uh, yeah, I got this today. I was like, this just feels brand new, right? I grabbed it. And I was like, oh, what's that camo? I was like, just touching it feels brand new. And then I noticed it says Gap, and I'm like, oh, hell. It's like freaking brand new. How could you not get this? It's a little girl's size eight. Okay. Oh, I meant to look this up, you guys. All Sun? Brand is All Sun. It's got a huge orange tag. It's 100% cotton. I believe it's a men's, uh, like, jacket coat blazer. It's not really picking up in the video. But it's like a business coat blazer, but it's 100% cotton. It's really cool. It's not picking up in the video the color or anything. thought it was cool. eBay. Okay, eBay. So I'm on eBay. She says the Toms. Yee. I meant to look this up too. I was hoping this was, yeah, it's not the brand I thought. This is Sanctuary or maybe it is. Is this sold at Dillard's, you guys? I think it is. I don't know. This also feels like silk. It needs to be steamed. It's roughly Silk, uh, certain silks tend to get really wrinkly, so you do have to steam it. Um, yeah, I have no doubt this is silk. Is it? Mm, I'm totally wrong. It's viscose polyester pre-shrunk. Sure did feel like it was that crinkly, rough. Um, well, that's cute. It's just a dress, I guess. An orange... Yeah, it's totally orange. 
Ooh, this was cute. It's the brand Philosophy of P-A-E-K Pop. Looks like an anthro tag, huh? Or Urban Outfitters, I don't know. Is it missing a button? I don't know, I didn't check. Nope, it's a romper, you guys. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. Okay, it's uh, daisies, I guess. Super cute shorts romper. Um. Oh, yes, I was gonna show y'all. It has that huge keyhole back. It kind of goes strap layered, but forms a keyhole kind of back. Cool. Nope, that's fake. Thought it had an adjustable waist. Okay, this kind of grosses me out. It's literally like a throw. It's black, but it's furry, and I might use it for a, a backdrop to list stuff. And the fabric for furry fabric is around 40 bucks if I get the kind that I like. So I'm actually going to take this to the wash right there. Um, nice spring outfit. Yeah, I'm going to take this and I'm going to wash it before I... I'm actually going to throw it in the washer inside of it. Okay. That's kind of just gross, period. Like to have somebody's blanket, you don't know where it's been, right? Or what they did on it. Um, so, yeah, that's as a backdrop, not for us to use on ourselves, which I see people buying blankets all the time to keep for themselves. So they do do it. Ooh, I had to get these. These are O'Neill. I never see a cut off. Short, like Daisy Duke shorts, I guess, is the word I'm going to use instead of the word I used to use. Somebody told me not to call them booty shorts. Um, <laughs> oh, look, O'Neal loves you. O'Neal loves you. Oh, uh, what size are these? Oh, it says it's a nine, which is great because I totally used to wear an eight and a nine when I was a junior. Oh, the day. Super cute. I can get back into a nine, can't I? Maybe a 10. <laughs> okay, last bag, yay. Ooh, this excites me a lot because my mom just listed a vintage, like long, uh, I don't know, it's not lace, but a vintage long, like robe thingy. She listed it and I've had it for like six months and I needed to list it. And she listed it for me. I was so happy. Yes, I have mood swings. I was so happy, right? She listed it. Well, I found this one and this one goes around your neck. Daisy Duke shorts. Yeah. So look, it's, uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm assuming that this is your back. It exposes your back maybe and it goes like this oh yeah so yeah woo, woo. i think this is so cool it's so vintage i think pretty sure it's vintage maybe spencer gifts like spencer's gifts in the mall yeah <laughs> that's funny uh made in the usa large i'm gonna have to look up that name it used to be like a goth store in my mall. Spencer's Gifts. I don't think this is the same one. Um, okay, so that's cool. I love that. And I love those because I've done my research. I used to try to buy one for myself to look sexy for my husband. He likes black. And so I tried to find a long thing like that. And they were like so expensive. So I never did buy one. Um, anyways, TMI. I couldn't resist getting this cute Wrangler boy shirt. It's Pearl Snap. It says Wrangler 20X. It's a medium. Um, but again, it's got this cool pattern. I checked it over. It's not damaged or anything. And it's got the Pearl Snaps. So I got that. I'm wondering if my son will ever hit a country phase or y'all, yeah, they, they sell sexy nightgowns too. Yes. Um, I wonder if my son, what he'll be into the most, 
like because he's barely starting or he's barely in junior high. Uh, so here's a tunic. It's, it has no tags and no size, but it's kind of got that stonewash or washed out look. Um, it's got like white in it. and Yeah, you get my point because the style is real popular. This thing is so soft and I love wearing these with tights. So I may keep this. I'll have to try it on. Ooh, 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 yeah. So I found this and I was like, eh, what is it? It's soft. Let's look it up. And lo and behold, I did find a tag somewhere. I was like, yeah, this ain't going to be nothing. I'm not going to keep it. Oh, but it's Entro. Entro is a really good brand, you guys. It's hit or miss. Some of their items don't sell the greatest. And then some of them are like $60, $50 used items. It's like, bam, good money. I think the kids are home. Or the kid, the smallest kid. <clears throat> Basic, I almost threw this back. It's just a classy, uh, the Grayson brand. I don't know what that is. It's just like, a, I don't know if you use the word sheath on this. It's kind of like fit and flare. I don't know. Not really. It's almost like a t-shirt dress. Help me out here, Gina. You can't really see. Can you? Maybe. I just like it because it's funky and got the uh, polka dots. Next item. Basic. Not a famous brand, but people love pigs. Alternative. That's like a cotton brand. Ooh, 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 ooh. Love it. Love tie-dye. This is My Beloved. My Beloved. I've seen that brand before. It's so soft. It's a spaghetti strap, like tunic dress, I guess. Tie-dye. Right up my alley. Love it. Except, what are these straps? They're too long. Not sure what size that is. Ooh, here's another intro piece, I believe. Yep. Found two intros. Those are good. It's lace bottom. It's a size small. It's a flannel collar shirt. Tunic dress. Yes. 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 Here is a, I think this is an anthropology piece, maybe. It's mine with that thread, needle and thread. This is just a basic dress. It's kind of ugly. I wanted to throw it back. But since it was, I believe, anthro, I went ahead and got it. Oh, this is so pretty. I have no idea what this is. It says yippee ch choo choo something. I don't know. You won't be able to read it because the tag is folded in half. So half is here and the other half is over here. But it's a navy dark blue, like, forest. This is green. Super freaking cool. Short sleeve. Kind of big. Dress. They're coming. Tiered tie-dyed ruffle dress. Yes. Hi, Mom. Hi, Rylan. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Come show everybody your cute little shirt that Mommy got at the bins. Come show Jaina and my three viewers. Come show them your little Valentine shirt. Come here. With your tongue. Let's see. Oh, you smell good. <laughs> Love Bandit. Oh, it's not February. Darn it. I was thinking, oh, it's February. And that's why I put this on him this morning. But, <laughs> hey, does your ear hurt? No. Oh, because you were sleeping the other night and you were playing with your ear. What? I, got worse. I was wondering if you were having an earache. Okay, mommy's almost done. What is this, mom? That's for your Valentine's Day. Don't open it. Okay, guys, it might get hard to uh, stay focused here. Gina said, hi, little man. Rylan, can you go take your jacket to your room? And your gun? It's not my gun, remember? Whose is it then? We got it from the thing that where you told me that 
Yeah. Here's the we we the free or we yeah we the free so free people. God, you're killing me. Go in the other room. He's making dog food. Lucky or red? I said, hungry. Okay, so it's a tunic though. It's like a tunic shirt or a long oversized shirt. <laughs> and it has a tiny hole. Go figure. Ow. Oh, you got yellow stuff all over your shirt today. Um, can anybody tell me what the heck this is? It's like a child's jumpsuit, but how do you get in it? Like through here? There's buttons with the crotch. No, there's not, dude. Yeah. Go away. Buttons <laughs> Well, go away. There's no buttons. Um, so I guess you have to squeeze your kid's body through the uh, shoulders here. Luckily, it's wide. So it says whatever that is. I don't even know what that means. Balmain, Paris? Maybe the country? I don't know. Uh, this looks like a tunic again. With no tags. Yeah, I was like, ooh, this tunic is so soft. It's so, what's that word? The flowy word? I just learned it. Uh, I can't think of it. But yeah, got that. Um, I could not put this down or let it not get it. But it's kind of. Kenneth Cole, reaction, men's size large, 34 to 35. I love this blue, too, you guys. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's striped. So maybe Chris will like it. He has so many cool clothes. It's not even funny. I think there's another piece in here that he'll get to keep. Um, oh, what is this? A turtleneck. Oh, I never did look it up, but it's so soft. I had to get it. It's, um, Cuddle Dubs software with stretch. Um, but it's like that cowl turtleneck. And it's also like a swing and sway. What is it? Swing dress. Yeah. Those other one tunics. They're like swing dresses is what I learned that they're called. So this is, oh, and this, because it had the thumb holes. I was like, yeah, this is so cool. I didn't even look it up. I was like, I'm getting it regardless. If you got thumb holes, you're cool. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about here. Next item, I couldn't resist getting this. Also, it'll probably fit Chris since he's lost weight, since we quit eating and eating dairy and eating fattening foods as much as we were. Polo by Ralph Lauren. It always gets me when YouTubers say Lauren. When they, I, it's so funny how people call Ralph Lauren. It's just like a girl's name, Lauren. And then certain YouTubers are like Lauren or something. It's so funny. Like when people say it, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not making fun of them. I'm just like, wow, it's crazy how people are all different. So that's one for Chris. Tucker was like, do you got anything for me? And I was like, uh, I don't know, dude, but I don't give you anything until we get done with the video or the haul. And so far, I'm not seeing anything. So this was cool. It's embroidered, a uh, long sleeve, like tunic shirt, I believe. And I'm hoping this might look okay on me. I don't know. Um, it is, a, oh, I'm not sure what this, this logo is. Uh, I can't put my thumb on it. I think I know who this brand is, but I can't. It's got that circle right there. Let's see, so that's a tag. I don't know who that is. 100% cotton, winner. Stretch it a little bit. Yes, I like that. Oh, Lordy, the garage door is open and the cold air, I mean, it's not really, the garage door is closed, but the door to the garage is open. Um, this has got tags and it had a $45 price on it. So I was like, what the heck? Ark and Co. It's a silky red half sleeve dress. 
Okay, like that. Like that. I need to hurry. You hear the Marty? Okay. Uh, this is J. Crew uh, men's shorts. They're stripe. They're like way too short. You would never catch my husband wearing anything like this. He's like always have to have long shorts. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear this, Gina. Are you still here? Because this is so cool. I wish I could pull this off. Can I find the bottoms? Hold on. Where is it? I hope I even have it. Okay, I don't know. I'll show you here in a minute, Gina. Um, I couldn't resist getting these little girl shorts. Size 3. Excuse me. Um totally cool then I found these on the same day with it must have belonged to the same girl some pants um, Sans and Suchi I think this is an anthropology brand don't quote me on that guys it's like a crop top so I went ahead and got it no stains lace top <clears throat> uh, and who doesn't pick up some tiny little Under Armour shorts? These will sell like all day at my garage sale. Um, these I had to get up since they kind of came back. These were really popular when I was younger. Uh, Stonewash. They're like joggers. Sweats kind of, but they're not. It's just cotton. Um, so cool. The only thing wrong with them is that the spandex in here is all crankled up and messed up, but I'll still wear them. These aren't for me, though. FYI. I thought I saw a stain, but it must have been the blue. Discoloring. So those are kind of funky. Sell so those. This is the kind of stuff you should sell on that website called Depop. Has anybody used that? YouTubers never talk about it. And Depop is like uh, a lot of younger people are getting on there and they're buying like the old 80s stuff over there. So uh, another little girl piece. Not sure why I buy this because I don't even have any little girls locally. My little niece moved. I'd have to like ship her these, wouldn't I? That's not a bad idea. We're almost done, guys. This is Peak and Peck. It's, I uh, guess it's like a shirt, a long shirt, kind of a tunic. Yeah, it's like, just like a long shirt tunic. I don't know what size it is, but oh, there it is. It's a large. Peak and Peck. Kind of funky, huh? I don't know if I could wear that. I was going to try it on. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's good. Got this for Tucker, so yeah, that'll be one thing for him, I think. This is just a Arizona hoodie. He loves this kind of stuff. Kangaroo pocket. Luckily, the pocket isn't ripped like last time. I had to sew it. I was so annoyed. I was like, next time, I'm not buying anything I have to repair. So we'll wash that. Oh man. Oh man. You guys, I don't see the bottom. Fudge. Where is it? I'm kind of sad. Um, here's a piece for Chris again. I see the strings coming loose, but not really. This is what I do. I just buy it off. Depop, but I want to try it. You can sell those little girl items on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, here's a Nike pullover, super, super soft. This one probably does. He'll want it. It's extra large dry fit. Man, I'm kind of bummed. Maybe I can find the shirt. What was that? Uh, my dog was freaking me out. So I had these, it's an ugly pattern. It's probably best that I didn't have the shirt. Maybe it's in my car or something. Mom, come on, baby. Can I wash my eyes? No, you can't. We need to work on your sight words first. Um, What's sight words? Exactly. 
Um, hold on, Rollin. I'm almost done, okay? So here's Harmony and Havoc, and I couldn't tell if this was a nightgown, but it kind of reminded me as, like, <laughs> I guess you would call it a nightgown. Um, but I have the shirt that went with this. It's super soft. A what? Someone very tall? No, it's not. It's, oh yeah, it is an extra large. Hey, it'll fit just perfect on my big butt. Um, <laughs> anyways, I had the shirt and I lost it. I'm pretty sure, unless there's like a bag hiding in my car, which I don't think there is at all. I guess I accidentally threw the shirt back, you guys. I was so excited. It was a two-piece set. I'm totally bummed. Okay. There's like three or four pieces left, and then we're done. This is a wrap skirt. Y'all know I don't like skirts, but it's that Lotus brand. I think Lotus is a pretty good brand. Uh, it's medium and it's made in India. It's just a tropical tie skirt. So I took a risk on that. Not like it was a huge risk, right? Uh, here is a skirt that is new with tags. I think, yeah, this is from a boutique. 50 bucks. And there's the tag right there. And it's just a clear, clear chiffon see-through. And then there, mini skirt, but super long. Kind of gothy. Like, I was like, well, it's new, so I'll go ahead and get it. Um, just a bikini top that I thought was super cute. Um, and it's by this really expensive brand here, that Bisu. How do you even say that? Bisu, Bisu. Um, so kind of, like, if I seem sad, I'm kind of sad that I lost the top to that freaking set. So mad. So mad. Um, last piece. I, I was like, oh, it's kind of ugly, but it's kind of cute. And then I saw the tag. And I was like, eh, I'll get it. It's just Siren Lily, I think. I've never heard of it. And it's got these pretty birds. And it's real breathable, so I don't know. I thought maybe I'd try it on. I'd probably have to wear a shirt underneath of it. Because it's like super... Super clear. Um, yeah, smells good. It's clean. It has a funky detailing back here by the middle of your butt. So that'll be cool. That cinching, it's made that way. Okay, I am totally done with the haul. So disappointed. Where's my shirt? Yeah, that's it. That is it, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. That was probably a two-hour video. <laughs> Cute love of the flower, Sheena says. So I just thought it was re it's really super, like, super-duper soft. Hey, baby gravy. Um, so, darn, I'm, like, super bummed. I totally wanted to put that outfit on and see what it looked like. <laughs> so disappointed. Okay, I just got batteries today, so I'm going to see if this works. And the batteries are actually right here, so we'll see if that works real quick. Dog, I don't know why. I hope y'all are scared of my butt in the middle of the video. I know I got batteries. Okay, I was bending over. Let's see. I just bought these cheap ones. I want to buy the whole $20 pack at Sam's. Okay, just my luck, it won't work, but maybe it will. Okay, that one goes, oh, maybe the spring is missing. Is that what's wrong? Maybe. Oh, I hear my toddler crying. I don't understand, like there's no wind up thing or no button or nothing. It just has a light. So, I guess it doesn't work anymore, because these things are supposed to move. 
<laughs> okay, so the wind up is not working. But are you in pain or why are you crying? Why are you whining? Oh, look at the cardinal. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's um, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. But the light does come on. I haven't even looked up the comps on this. Mm -hmm. It's probably not worth anything. If it's not, we'll just throw it in the mm -hmm. garage so maybe somebody will buy it. Yeah, I'll go look in my car. I'll totally, he's not hurt. He's um, he's jealous of the other dogs, so he like whines. He's like super jealous of the dog, other dog. Okay, guys, we will see you later. I can't believe I just did two hauls in one video. So uh, we just totally knocked out two shopping trips plus a Sunday trip at the Goodwill store. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great evening. At least it's 6 p.m. here in Texas. So peace out.